St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, I just want to start off with this scripture right here. Look, the wars are not going to stop, all right? You see, the hyperinflation is not going to stop. The crime is not going to stop. All right. The storms are not going to stop. You see, the train derailments with all that damn um, deadly ass smoke is not going to stop. All right. The Lord said no peace, more more storms, more floods, more earthquakes, more everything, the more love of many wax and cold. OK, more crime, more police shooting. Look, this is all part of the movie. And look, and all these things gotta happen. Look, the Lord, the Lord's getting ready to come and rule the earth in righteousness. The Lord is getting ready to come and rule the earth in righteousness. But before all that happened, all these things you see taking place on the face of the earth. Look, look, the scripture said, Woe to the bloody city, man. The them, them ancient plagues of ancient Egypt, them plagues of ancient Egypt is hitting hitting modern day Egypt. Modern day spiritual Sodom in Egypt. This plague's hitting this place. Modern day Basra, the land of Uz, is hitting this place. It ain't gonna stop. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Just, just some. Yeah, yeah, Israelites still voting. Like that's gonna make a difference. It is not Israel. It's not. They're gonna still take them down full steps away. They look, they take them jobs away. They do every all your benefits, your 401k, that don't exist no more. It ain't gonna be no early retirement for you Israelites, all right? The stock is gonna crash. All of it, man. St. Matthew 10, 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Stop thinking that the Lord is coming to bring peace on earth. He ain't, man. And this red letter, this Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they equally call Jesus, he's telling you. So that's why we get our minds prepared. We know we're getting ready to lose everything. We, we, we're ready to lose it all. We're not trying to hold on. And the, and the Israelites is trying to hold on to it. They're going to take that sea hip. Because they think this place is going to change. Like the scriptures say, when they, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. This devil is going to make it seem like everything is going back to being normal. He's going to offer you that, that um, deal of a life, lifetime, so-called. Meaning that see him for you to buy and sell. And that's saying, you know, here come that fire. Here come boom, 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 boom. I came out to say peace. <coughs> it's like you. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And that sword represents destruction. That's why we go, look, look, and we're living in the time of prophecy, right? Matter of fact, before I even get that, let's just get Jeremiah 20. Look, look, same old two step. We look, just sticking with prophecy, that's all. Just sticking with prophecy. This is Jeremiah chapter 28. I'm just going to read something real quick, you know. I'm, I'm about to head out. Read something right quick. There was a red letter. Lawyer, Lawyer Hawashai, who you even call Jesus, told you what he was coming to do. You, you trying to tell him what he's going to do when he's telling you what he's going to do. And he's telling us to tell you what he's going to do. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me. And before thee of old, bear with me. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. They told you what was going to happen before it even happened. Both against many countries and against, against man, against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. All right. So war, war, war. And add a three behind it. It's go you can't stop the inevitable. You can't stop the inevitable, man. And of evil, meaning more plagues. You see? More contagions, all right? More lockdowns, more people looking crazy as hell. You see? Bedridden. Things of that nature, all right? The soil is through, all right? The water is through. You people are through. 
and of evils and of pestilence. That's our job. Whether you like it or not, that's our job. Whether you like it or not, man. All right. The Lord said, woe to the bloody city. Let's just get that right quick. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Whether you like it or not, you can't stop it. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. And the reason behold, which means to look. The eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are upon the sinful kingdom, a.k.a. America. only thing they do is promote wickedness. only thing this place promotes is nothing but wickedness. All right? This is a lawless land. This land isn't governed by laws. And the laws that it is governed by is unrighteous laws, unrighteous decrees. Look at the laws that they pass for this place. Look, look at what they allow to go on in this place. How much more you think the Lord's going to allow this place to go on? Ain't nothing but a ticking time bomb. <clears throat> you see, people concerned like hell over the toxins. They were, they, they was on the man everywhere. Hell, train direct. Hell, look at the damn skies, black as hell. All that toxin, man. Well, well, hell, if you're worried about the damn toxins, you, you're going to be worried about more than that because fire is coming. Nuclear fire is coming, man. More storms, more floods. You you name it, man. Behold the eyes of the Lord power upon the central kingdom, a.k.a. America, right? And I will destroy. You, you see that, Israel? You, you, you still planning on what college your kids going to go to. <clears throat> and when, when you going to get your um, vacation home at? The Lord said he's going to destroy this place from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So that small remnant, that one third is going to get delivered out of here, man. And Lord willing, we're of that whole for number. Because damn, because if the Lord don't hurt me, come, everything's going to be through. All right. If your Hawa Bahashim Yahushai don't hear it become, ain't nothing gonna be left alive. But the Lord already knows the Lord gonna come in, in, in the nick of time. Because it says the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Meaning what? Ain't nobody saved. St. Matthew 24. Just hitting some points. St. Matthew 24 and 6. And you should hear wars and rumors of war. You see, it ain't gonna stop, Israel. It's not gonna stop. <clears throat> No matter how many times you go to church, you know what I'm saying, and you grab your rosary beads and you put your hands together, and you hum, hum, hum. No, it's not going to stop, all right? It's only going to get worse, all right? And worse 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 and worse. And worse. <clears throat> your government officials ain't nothing but liars. You, you haven't figured that out yet. And you should hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must, you see, not might, not I think about it. Hold on for a minute. All these things must come to pass. Do I need to blow the scripture up? But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. More race wars, class wars, civil wars. The economy is going to crash. Gender wars. And then you in the fresh scripture that I read was what? Think not that I come to say peace on earth. I came not to say peace, but a sword which represents destruction. All right? No, nothing but destruction. That's what you're gonna get from this lesson. Nothing but destruction. All right. That's why the scripture say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the leaven power. Y yes, it is. <clears throat> yes, it is. All right. Talking about the long, long-term effects from the from the toxic chemicals. No, no shit, Sherlock. It, it's true. Matter, matter of fact, before I even get there, let's just get this. Let's just throw these numbers in here. This land, this land, this, this land is you, you you don't know what's happening. Look, this land is getting exactly what it dished out. Remember, we're on stolen land anyway. Everybody's trying to figure out why these things happen, why the, why the air polluted, why the water polluted. Well, I'm going to read it right here. Numbers chapter 35. I'm going to read it right here. All right? So you're trying to figure out why these things. God, God, why is it happening? Why is it happening? Why is it happening? Well, we're going to show you right here. Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are. For blood, it defiled the land. See, this this land, America, Babylon, the great, the land of the wicked. You see, spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah, this land is defiled with the blood of the so-called natives. 
You know what I'm saying? The blacks and the Latinos, everybody seemed to have forgotten about that. Gee golly whiz. You people forgot about the blood that was shed of the children of Israel and everybody. Look, look, it's going to shock the world once again. It's going to shock the world when everybody truly realizes who the true children of the Lord are. The true Hebrew Israelites are, the biblical Hebrew Israelites. And look, look, people going to faint. People going to off themselves, man. Once it's publicly known, because it says in the place um, where it said they want my people, it's going to be said in that same very place over here in Babylon that they are the children of the Lord, man. You heathens are going to lose it once y'all really realize, you know what I'm saying, that y'all touched the, Lord, the apple of the Lord's eye. You people are going to lose your freaking minds, man. Numbers 35, 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are. For blood, the Israelite blood, it defiles the land. This land is defiled. The blood has been shed. And you wonder why the shit is happening. You wonder why um it's snowing down there in California. You wonder why all these storms, all these floods, all these earthquakes, hell, the air, the water, hell, all these toxins, all these plagues, all these pestilence, all these different contagions are happening over here in Babylon. What, what do you think was going to happen? You should have known sooner or later that the chickens were going to come home to roost. You should have known. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed that is that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Are you not hearing this scripture? The Lord said the people that shed the blood of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, the Lord said, I'm getting ready to shed their blood. This is what the Lord is saying, man. And I want, I want to get what I said, too. About when it, 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 these people, these different heathen, about to lose their mind. You see, and you, and you two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, this, this running right along with these heathen. You can't stop the process. It's all part of the Lord's movie. You can't stop the Lord from revealing who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are. You, you can't. You never. You ain't gonna stop nothing that the Lord wants to do. Hosea chapter one. <clears throat> Hosea chapter 1 verse 10 and it reads, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. We scattered everywhere, all right? And we look like these heathen, they were scattered everywhere, right? Which cannot be measured nor numbered, all right? They try to take a so-called census, you know what I'm saying, of how many of, of us it is. You can't do it. We scattered everywhere, right? You would it say, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Where did that happen at? Over here in America, Babylon, the great, the land of confusion. It was said that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans wasn't the children of the Lord. You see, they said the people over there in the land of Israel was the children of the Lord. But what did the Lord say? What did the Lord say? And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There, over here in Babylon and great, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. You're Yasha Allah. You're the princes of the power, all right? You're the kings and the princesses of the children of God. And these heathen are going to lose their mind, man. We're, we're rejoicing right about now. Even though we catch catching hand, I'm about to head out and go to work. We're rejoicing right about now. The Lord is revealing who we are. And you know what that means? It's all over. The curtain's closing. The curtains are closing for you either, man. This, this would be y'all last time. And all of them. The Chinese, Japanese, the so-called white men, all of them. The duty and arrogance. This would be the last time any of them rule anything. We're finally here now. We're finally here. This is the last time they will ever tell anybody what to do. We're here, the children of Israel, upon the Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus and King David. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans are going to rule the earth in righteousness, and can't nobody stop it. You see? But before all this happened, we got to tell you what's going to happen, all right? It ain't going to be no peace. The Lord said, go tell them. Give them warning from me. Let's read this, and I'm closing. Ezekiel 15 and 1. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happened, which I will put in their mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. Why? Because they are faithful and true. 
And while I'm on the topic of us coming back into rulership, we're going to have them brand new bodies that will never die, that will never decay, that will never get old, that will never rot away. No more death for the children of Israel. But you heathens, y'all going to have them decrepit old bodies. Y'all got to still work. You see? Body's going to be breaking down. You're going to feel pain and everything, man. The Lord said, go tell them that before it even happened. You see? No more. So, I, 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 I got to throw this in there. I got to throw that in there, man. For the children of Israel. I got to throw this in. I'm pressed for time, but I got to throw this in here, man. This is for us. This scripture right here pertains to the children of Israel. Nick Rose, Latinos, and Edward McInnes. Rejoice, Israel. Rejoice. This, this hell that we're in, this, this hellish condition that we're in, which is a condition because hell represents a condition played out on earth. <clears throat> you got heaven and hell being played out on earth. Right about now, we're in the so-called white man's heaven. You see rulership. And we're in our hell, captivity. The Lord about to flip it upside down. Revelation 21 and 4. And the most I shall, and the most I Yahweh through its only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, from our eyes, okay? This is why all this is taking place, Israel. Look at the bigger picture, all right? You you look you looking at the smaller picture. You know, no, we're looking past everything. This happening. We know the real reason why all this is happening, man. And the most I shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Can you dig that, Israel? We're never gonna die again. Can't say that for you heathens, all right? Can't say that for you heathens, man. Neither sorrow, look, no more death. You see, because the Lord already conquered death. When we get those new bodies, we're going to conquer death, man. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. Can you dig that, Israel? That's why all these things are happening, man. For this scripture right here to be fulfilled. You see? For the former things are passed away, man. All right? And remember, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Just remember that, Israel. And the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning. Second Ezra 15. Oh, I'm, I'm about to wrap it up. Second Ezra chapter 15. <clears throat> Verse 15. I'm going to read fast. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, and weapons in their hands, race wars, class wars. You see? All the above, man, is not going to stop. For there should be sedition among men. You have more people excited, other people to go against the government, this lying ass government. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. We done broke that down. They ain't going to listen to nobody. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Let's jump down. Um... 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. No one's going to stop this, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, with the weapons, and spoil, meaning and take, rob their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. I got one more and I'm gone. And, I, and I'm most definitely pressed for time, but I must be allowed to bring this out. I must be allowed to bring this out through the spirit of your house. But Shemel Shai, this is my last one. Think not that the Lord coming to bring peace, Israel. He's not. Habakkuk 2 and 12, woe, destruction to him that built of a time with blood. How did, how did America get built? Out of the blood of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? The Israelites. The Israelites. The Israelites. You see? The scriptures say destruction into this place, man. And establish a city by iniquity. This, this place was set up through witchcraft. Okay? This place was set up for us to go to hell off, and the Lord's been bringing all these different plagues to end it all, man. All right? We're at the end of this place, Israel. Rejoice. Shalom.